Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is Crypto Blue 3000. I am Ty. Today we're going back over fam tech. Uh, before we do so, usual disclaimer guys, not a financial advisor guys. This is a risky space. It's an unregulated space guys. So always please, please, please use that risk-free capital, that play money as if you're going into a casino guys. Um, let's go ahead and get into this project here. We are the homepage here as I always like to start. Where can we find support? We have that instant chat right here. If we could click up on it, then we could start um, typing in our message um, to address our issue, guys. I know sometimes you think us YouTubers are support for any particular project. I am not affiliated with any of these particular projects, so I could not help you if you do have an issue. Um, and let's see, let's see, let's see. So about Famtech right here, we did go over that in the previous video. So if you are needing to know, if you're needing to know how to get started with this particular project, go back to that full review. I did that a handful of days ago. Um, and that is a full walkthrough from beginning to end, how to make, um, how to get registered, how to make a deposit, FAQs, all that stuff. And always make sure to go over the FAQs yourself as well so you can get all those questions answered. You know, minimum withdrawal, that's always an important one to know. Um, for example, with big, with big uh, for this particular project, it's going to be 15 for Bitcoin. It is a more expensive network, so it tends to be a little bit higher um, threshold to make withdrawal. And then other cryptocurrency will be only $5. Not too many FAQs here. Um, I've been in the space for quite a while, so I feel like very well versed in this space, but sometimes I don't know what your questions are. What are, what are your confusions? What are you kind of like wanting to know more? So, you know, definitely always feel free to leave questions below if you, um, are unclear on a certain thing that I might, uh, go over maybe a little too quickly or anything like that, you know, put, put in those questions, um, in the comment section below, because I'm sure other people also probably have the same question that you do as well. So I'm not going to go over these questions now because I already, like I said, went over them in the first video here, going back to the homepage. Um, so create an account is super easy, guys. You're just pretty much putting in your first name, your, your uh, username, making a deposit, and then we're going to withdraw profits. If we keep on scrolling down, we have a roadmap of uh, what Famtech is hoping to achieve in um, the months to come and stuff like that. Then we have the plans. So we have three different plans here, starting off with 5% daily, guys. 5% is very, very good. Minimum deposit will be 50 US dollars. Max for this particular plan will be 499. Like I said, 5% daily for a duration of 14 days. That middle plan is going to be the uh, pharma plan, and that's going to be a minimum of $500. Um, all the way up to 2,999 US dollars, 10% daily duration is nine days. And then we have the panacea plan. The last plan, it is a minimum deposit of 3000 US dollars and it's unlimited how much you can put in this particular plan. You will be getting 25% daily for a duration of five days there. So once that, um, plan is over, once the cycle is done, depending on whatever plan you choose, you will get your deposit back and you'll be no longer collecting profits. So you can have the option to either redeposit your initial deposit and start that uh, cycle up once again, or you could withdraw it back into your wallet and move on. And we have testimonies here, and then we have uh, the bottom of the page here. So more support right there. Let's go click on that. Um, so you could either just, you know, send in your name, use the email that you've registered with and make sure guys when you are registering that you use a legitimate email i don't know why you guys don't sometimes but sometimes you don't and it's kind of strange to me um put in your question your issue and then send that message um and then then we have the email as well here so if you want to copy and paste that in your email if you use yahoo or gmail or whatever you can send it from your email right there. So you have a few different options of getting hold of support right there. Mm, what else? What else? Before we log in, I feel like there was one more thing that I wanted to talk about, but maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> uh, all right. Well, the point evades me and maybe we'll come back. Uh, registration. So let me just show you again. 
full name. So first and last name, this is my username right here, what I usually go with. Your password, I my strategy, my strategy in this space is to use a different password for every single project I'm in in this space. Can that be a bit of a hassle? Yes, it can. Do I write it down someplace safe? Yes, I do. And um, I have had no problems in this space since. Then put your email in there, retype that email, click the box, sign up, easy peasy. All right, that's how you register there. Let's go ahead and log in and log in and we are the home page here we have my earnings right here so let's make a withdrawal so we have that menu on the left now i have shown you in the previous video how to make a deposit you are going to click on one of the particular plans here so you just got a little scroll down uh menu right there click the five five percent is really amazing guys you know can't go wrong with that one click on the five percent then you are going to click on the payment method. So you could do account balance from Tether. Now the minimum deposit is $50 and I only have $15, one five versus five zero. So I don't have enough to um, redeposit into the, the project quite yet. Um, I could wait and let that uh, money build up and then redeposit or I can deposit from my wallet. So I oftentimes like to use the Tether coin from the TRC20. I find it to be a good network, a cheap network, and a quick network, guys. Um, <clears throat> but then you could also use anything like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, BNB, Dogecoin, um, Tether on the, the Ethereum network, on the Tron network, on the Binance network, and the Tron coin right down here. Uh, what if I just chose the Tron coin? What would that look like? So your account balance and then so um you could ignore this but you would come here and then type in the amount you wanted we're not going to actually do a real deposit here today but i'm just kind of giving you a reminder hit spend and so i want to see if sometimes they they do this and i'm seeing this on more and more projects where they're not showing you how much tron coin to to send uh so what i'll often do is if that is the case if we go over to my wallet, I, I've been using Exodus so much. Now I don't carry a lot of Exodus coin in here, but because I just use it for gas fees. Um, but if I go over to, to my Tron coin and I hit the little upward arrow where I want to send, um, and I switch it to the USD, hopefully that makes sense right there. So it's now on the USD. Now I can just put in a hundred and it's going to show a hundred dollars right there but underneath it shows how much in tron coin and so at the time of this recording a hundred dollars worth of tron coin is 817.18523 tron so it just automatically does a conversion for me i don't have to like stress out about it like oh my gosh how much how much tron should i be sending so that's really really nice that they have that option right there on the wallet this is the exodus wallet um, that i use mostly uh, but I don't deposit too much with Tron. I just kind of wanted to use that for this example there. So that is how you would send it. And then you would copy, kind of clicked out of my wallet quickly there, but you would copy this address right here and then go ahead and paste it in the wallet uh, address in the blank space and then go ahead and send that $100 worth of Tron or however much you're going to send to this project right there. Um, once you've done that, you're going to go back into the transaction uh, let me see if I have one here to show you. <clears throat> so this was actually just a gas fee transaction, but you have the transaction ID right there and you would click on it and it copies. And then I would come over here, copy and paste that transaction ID there and click save. And then once you go through all that, hopefully that all made sense, then you completed your deposit in here. So you can't forget about that transaction ID. Got to get that that big long number. I think it's like 64 um, letters and digits in there to make the transaction ID. So very, very easy, very easy. You know, the first time around could be really a little bit like, what am I doing here? Um, but, you know, keep watching these videos and keep on learning and you'll get a hang of, hang of this base here. OK, so another point I really want to make uh, here is that I did not set my wallet here. So I got $15 to withdraw and I really want to point this out that the account this is the wallet address is not set. I got to go into my account here and scroll down here. Let's see. Let's see. Tether TRC 20. 
I've already saved it. Copy and paste and change account data. All right, just had to get my um, 2FA right there. Plug in your 2FA and then change data and then account has been successfully updated. You notice how I didn't put in my 2FA and then I tried to save it and then it was like, oh, that's wrong. Put in my 2FA number, then I hit save and then it was successful, guys. All right, so now we go back to withdrawal. Now we see the wallet address right there. So I just wanted to point that out before, like I could have just done it on my own, but you know, it's nice to, to you know, this is what I'm here for to walk you through all the, all the things. Make sure you're doing it right. All right, so I got 15 bucks and I'm gonna hit request. And then I need to get my 2FA again. Seven, three, four, six, nine, two, and got it. Like withdrawal has been successfully saved there. Okay, awesome. So that's how you do a withdrawal. Uh, make sure you have your 2FA. And this is again security that is where you enable your 2FA. You know, not every particular project offers a 2FA, but when they do, absolutely definitely enable it there. Sometimes they'll have withdrawal pin numbers. Um, they'll, you know, and it's all fine and dandy, make sure to enable everything. You know, um, I wouldn't say you should be concerned if a particular project doesn't have a 2FA because, um, you know, every, unfortunately, every security measure is hackable in this um, online space as well as, you know, all locks in real, <laughs> what am I trying to say? All locks are pickable. All locks are pickable and hackable, unfortunately. So um, enabling your 2FA when you can, having a good strong password, um, keeping all that information safe is a great way to keep yourself from getting hacked um, and keep your funds safe. So that being said, that's all I have for you in this video, guys. Please like, su subscribe, share, turn on that bell notification, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.